All right, so welcome to designing data store models. The whole like focus of this unit is to get you to think more about the data, right? So really most app engines, they've got these, these pretty UIs that do these things, but most of it kind of hinges on, on data. So what data is stored? Uh, how do you access that data? How does the data models need to be designed for, for efficient apps? We're gonna do three different projects uh, in this lab. So it's kind of a lot of projects. Um, I'll just kind of bring them up to, to talk about them. So the first project is, we're going to have you do an app um, called Guestbook. Uh, this one is a Google tutorial. The idea of Guestbook is, you know, we can say, uh, hello world into my Guestbook. So I've got a Guestbook up at fisherds-guestbook.com. So you can have anonymous data entry into this Guestbook. You can also choose to log in, um, and it'll log you in with your Google credentials. I'm logged into other tabs. So my login, um, you didn't see it. It just approved it. Um, so now I'm going to say hello from David Fisher. Um, and whenever I hit sign guest book, uh, now it comes in as from a signed user. This tutorial is going to be a, a walkthrough tutorial. Let's go and talk more about it now. Um, I'm going to have you make an app that is your username uh, hyphen guest book, uh, which of course makes the public URL dot And there's, it's literally just a, a link here. You're going to be working through it's very much a cookbook right so you're just going to work through all the steps as fair warning this tutorial is meant to be a, a first introduction um, so don't be surprised when they talk about some things that you already know right so that's going to be the lab that we have you do to start this unit so you're actually going to start with a lab and then we'll have have some more videos let's go ahead and talk about things that are coming later in the unit though um, after we do uh, that lab, which has just got a lot of good background information in it, we're going to move on to Grade Recorder. Uh, and so with Grade Recorder, I'll go ahead and bring up a copy of it here. Uh, there is a version of this at gradecorder.com, so I reserve that custom domain just for fun. Uh, but just in case I don't, uh, don't use that forever, you could also go to, to Fisher DS Grade Recorder. Um, and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be designing the data that, that backs this app. So you're not going to be building the whole thing, you're just going to be designing the data. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to uh, to this URL, hopefully it's, it's up right now in a, in a version that you could use, and do things like, you know, adding a student. So what the heck, I'll add David Fisher, and my username is FisherDS, uh, and I'm going to be on team, uh, I don't know, 100. Congratulations team number 100, I just, just joined you. Once you've added a user, uh, what you can do is you can see your users. You can go to like edit and delete and you can see what users you've got. I've actually got a whole bunch of users apparently in this. I've been, been playing around with this one for a while. Uh, you can also add an assignment. Uh, so if you add an assignment, lab 100, just in case I already have a lab one. Um, so I didn't. So under lab 100, I've got that. And then let's add a grade uh, for David Fisher. Uh, let's give him a, a 1000 on lab 100, right? So what this app does is it keeps your data siloed, right? So the reason you logged in is because you're keeping like things for your classes. So this is really an app that's like for a faculty member. Um, and I can see that like, you know, here are the grades that I have for homework two, here are the grades that I have for homework one. Uh, if I looked at all my assignments, here are the things that I have here. So one of the things we're gonna have you, you thinking about is what is that data model looking like? And so we'll, we'll talk more about that in a later video, but I just kind of wanted to give a teaser for what's coming in this unit. The other app, this is going to be a lab at the end, is Dice with Friends. We're making three apps. Dice with Friends is a game. It's kind of like Farkle, if you've ever played Farkle. Um, but the idea is that you sign in with Google here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with Google. Um, this time, apparently, I, ha I haven't done the permissions recently, so it's going to ask me for permission. Um, that permission was just to know who I am. Nothing more. Not access my email. Um, just, uh, just know who I am. And so the way this game works is you, you're going to click on create a new game. So you're going to play against someone else. Um, I play most of my games against Matt Baltel. So I'm going to play against Baltel at gmail.com. This app is not finished yet. Um, and so it's going to take you to a page that looks nothing like uh, what my proposed finished version would be, right? So it shows like my score and his score and some other things. Um, but the idea of this app is that you can have games that you're playing, so you can see that I'm playing a bunch of games against uh, against Matt, um, and it keeps track of them in a data table. Um, games that I'm already done with, uh, it shows down here, 
and I can click to play one of these games. So you can see I've got a game in progress uh, against Dr. Baltel here. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be designing the data for how do we actually track uh, games like in the background. So that's kind of the overview of, of what all's going on. Uh, during this unit, you should be able to explain things like what key properties are, um, repeated fields. You should really understand keys and IDs very well, um, and various properties. And you can hopefully make some web apps using these tools. Um, and so what we're going to do uh, to start you off with is we're just going to have you work this lab. Uh, so go ahead and uh, find the, the link here. It's in the slides if you click on the slides. Uh, and here's a link to the lab. And then once you're finished with the lab, assuming you're taking this, this class for a grade, um, I want you to submit your URL here. If you're just taking it for fun, you know, there's no need to submit the URL. Uh, but this lab will walk you through an introduction to App Engine as provided by Google. All right. Good luck knocking out that lab. Should take you a while. After that, uh, pick up with the next video. See you then. Bye.